Okay, it's December 30th. Just a couple more days left of 2020. Today it's about 36 degrees right now. Some slight rain going on. Gallup Park. And I'm here to see if the injured trumpeter is still around. There's a these guys are pretty dominant right here with the one juvenile trumpeter. Yep, here he is over here, the family of four still together. So hopefully I can get him to come close to me. Because I want to check out his wound a whole lot more. And today there's not that many people around. <laughs> so I'm, I might be able to grab him and get a close look at him. So I didn't bring any of my corn out right here. They all know somewhat who I am. We'll try to get him a little bit. See if he'll maneuver over here. Oh, there's one guy. I know who he is. He's feeding him bread. I see him on the bridge. Feeds the birds all bread. Not a good thing to do. Best to feed them just corn if you're going to feed them something. to get them closer. Well, I didn't get it on video, but I did get a little wet. I was able to grab the injured trumpeter over there gently. He didn't put up too much of a struggle. And I rubbed my fingers all along his neck where the wound is. And I could not feel like any type of fishing line or any type of um, any type of uh, line on him at all. So I don't think it's a fishing line that's wrapped around his neck. I think he injured it somehow on a wire. He's he ate a lot of corn, <laughs> so he's still digesting his corn. But uh, so I don't think it's a line that's wrapped around his his neck whatsoever. And actually, I was quite surprised. The trumpeters, uh, usually the last time I grabbed the trumpeter in front of so many, they were all hooting and hollering. <laughs> this time, they, they were pretty quiet. But um, I'm glad I was able to check him out with my hand at least. So I still don't think he needs to be rescued. I just think he needs to build up his strength and he should be okay. But I don't think it's a fishing line on him whatsoever. He just ate too much corn right now and he's trying to digest it. The trumpeters are all, <laughs> they're all wired up. Plus there's a, the angry mute swan is around and uh, some of the trumpeters are not liking that too much right now. He's actually on the outskirts because a few of them went after him. It was kind of funny. And like the trumpeter, when the trumpeter puts its wings out to the side, that you know that the trumpeter means business when he gets when he gets angry. So the mute swan had his wings arched up, but he's over there. I think he learned his lesson because a few of the trumpeters went after him. It was kind of funny. These guys don't like my long pole. <laughs> they shy away when I pull it out.
So the swan with the injury, I don't think I need to rescue him. I seen improvement ever since I seen him like a week ago. I will keep my eye out for him. He's got a lot of character and he's pretty brave. I know he's not a hundred percent, but He's sticking close to his parent right now. He came up here to eat some of the corn. Here's the beautiful darker gray juvenile. She or he is very shy, but he's, he's the biggest juvenile out of that four. Not that many Canadian geese here today. Probably come later.
We have a total of 22 trumpeters, adults, and eight juveniles. That's the most I've seen so far this year. Thank <laughs> you. 